Hello and welcome to the Spadoinkel channel. My name is Jason McHugh. I am your most Spadoinkel host. And um, please subscribe to our channel. We are going to be discussing and posting all sorts of interesting videos about various topics, including but not limited to Cannibal the Musical. Uh, Orgasmo, Time Warped, CrapTV.com, Electric Apricot, Quest for Festeroo, uh, maybe even South Park from time to time. Uh, definitely Danny Zappin of Maker Studios fame. Um, Lloyd Kaufman from Troma. Um, if you're interested in people like, like Trey Parker, Matt Stone, uh, Dean Bahar, Les Claypool, um, Matt Potter. Have you heard of Matt Potter? I don't know if you've heard of Matt Potter, but let's start. Let's start our first show off. Um, um, we're going to dedicate this one to Matt Potter because he um, is a force of nature who worked with us back in the day, and um, he put together uh, this bootleg DVD VHS tape. Um, I don't even know. Um, I haven't seen it, but I've been told about it, and I've been asked by lots of different um, friends and fans over the years to... Um, post some of these videos online and give some explanations about these videos. Um, so let's just start like that. Uh, yes, we had this website. It's still, you can go check it out, craptv.com. But back during .com 1.0, um, we were a vibrant company putting out lots of bizarre and funny and weird videos and alternative festivals. And Matt Potter was one of the all-stars that worked on our team. And um, he, there's this wall of tapes um, that I had with lots of different projects and a lot of student films. And Matt, like a gold miner, would go back there and dig through these tapes and find out little gems that um, made him happy. And he put together this bootleg tape, and I think he reached out to a lot of people that worked on Cannibal, a lot of the fellow CU filmmakers like uh, Nigel Stewart, Ian Harden, Ted Henwood, Andy Kemmler, um, just to name a few. I'm sure I'm not thinking all of them, but um, and he put together this bootleg compilation, um, and then proceeded to sell that on eBay <clears throat> to help pay his rent. And we probably weren't paying him too well at the time, so hopefully that helped put food on the table for his family. I'm not sure if it did, but um, anyway. So these um, this bootleg's been circulating for many years, and I get questions all the time about it. Um, so finally. Here we are today in 2013, and we're um, launching the Spudoinkel channel with some of these shorts um, from some of the uh, friendly filmmakers that I've gotten the distinct pleasure to work with over the years. <laughs> 